you might want to look at what does it cost you to pay for that policy on a monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual basis, right? Let's say the 45,000 in this case, all right, let me get my, my phone here. $45,000 is what they can pay in one shot, right? For the whole year. But what can happen is when you divide that by 12 and you decide to pay on a monthly basis, what happens is the insurance company tax on additional fees for you to do that, whether it's monthly, quarterly, or semi-annual. Those fees, right? So, so you're you're thinking three thousand seven fifty is what you'd be paying monthly, but you're actually paying a little bit more than that. So you're not actually getting forty five k going right into the into the cash value, which will hurt just a little, nothing crazy. It'll hurt the performance of the cash value when you compare someone paying in monthly up to 45k versus someone that pays in 45k in one shot the person that paid in annually they've got more of their money that 45k more of the 45k went into cash value and then that cash value is growing day one of that uh that year that they're in that money is growing for the whole entire year as opposed to you paying monthly and it grows monthly according to what is actually entering into the cash value after expenses and charges are are minus from what you paid on that monthly basis follow me okay cool so if you were to evaluate what that cost difference is plus what you potentially lose in growth and then compare it to what it would cost you to borrow from a five percent say debt tool in this case 39.7 what we found is that it actually benefits me to borrow now ahead of time pay the interest here to max fund my policy now to have more cash value now liquid available to borrow and go do something with it and now that money is growing on the full amount pretty interesting stuff so that is something to consider if you're like doing velocity banking but you're also funding a life insurance policy one or two here and you're like hmm instead of putting a thousand off to the side and then doing velocity banking with what's left why not have all your income go into the debt tool and then once a year you extract a chunk max fund the policy do velocity banking continue to do velocity banking and pay less interest than paying monthly with the added on expenses that's something to consider